welcome back to another video tutorial in this video we are going to draw this uh, ball bearing out of this uh, 2d sectional view uh, we have the measurements they are given uh, diameter being 130 outer diameter that is then uh, the weight they are being 35 so on fusion uh, we'll need first to have a appropriate name for this uh, main file so we can go ahead and uh, click on the save icon then now uh, we can uh, assign it a name so under this main name is where we could have uh, like several components uh, below it so let's have a name there like uh, ball bearing card uh, card design uh, then save uh, click on that right click on that name then uh, create the first component uh, the first component being uh, outer rim like that then uh, right click again uh, on that name same name and uh, create uh, the second uh, component which is now the inner ring then uh, now we'll have the third component uh, which is uh, the ball or spherical ball uh, the fourth one now being the cage the cage is where those uh, spherical balls are uh, arranged uh, arrange nicely so first now we check the box for outer ring then uh, we start sketching uh, just have a construction line passing through the center uh, this will use as a guide or the axis uh, during the revolve uh, operations so select the center rectangle uh, once you do that then uh, add some relations there uh, just to ensure that they are both horizontal to the center centers are, are, uh, are uh, on the same line with the with our main center on the design there so the outer diameter is 130 so since it is a uh, we'll use a revolve feature then let's the radius there uh, the width was uh, 12 of 12 millimeters 12 mm from this uh from this um uh, uh, section here that is 12 the bulb there is uh, 24 then uh we can go ahead and now add the the arc center arc there uh, and this uh, center arc remember this is where the ball will be sitting for lack of a better word and uh, from the center to that point of the arc is uh, 8 then uh, the radius of this arc is uh, 12 because the diameter of that ball is 24 then now take the um, take the trim uh, trim tool just to trim this uh, inside uh, of that line out then select uh, these two lines the ones you are left with and add uh, equal relation there uh, that uh, so the sketch is black that means it is uh, fully defined there now you can go ahead and uh, complete uh, or finish sketch uh, pick the revolver uh, revolver uh, feature there uh, select the axis and uh, the full uh, rotation that 360 this now looks okay uh, we done with the outer ring probably we need to add a fillet let's check if the fillet radius is given here yeah, it is 2.1 uh then uh, you select these two corners add a fillet of uh, 2.1 millimeters uh, then click ok uh then uh, we'll now move to inner ring so inner ring is uh, pretty obvious we're going to follow the same procedures we did with the first uh, or the outer ring there so first uh, you need to draw a construction line passing through the center ensure it is coincident to to the main center there you can drag it out then select and uh, add that relation Cl 
select the line then press X on the keyboard to make it a construction line uh, take a center rectangle add a, a relation there to the center of horizontal then uh, it is measuring 12 by 35 then from the center to that point is uh, 50 divided by 2 that is 25 then from now from this point now we're going to add the arc the arc uh, uh, the center arc but now it is uh, now we are going to add it uh, on the outside bit of it uh, from the center to from the center to where well, that arc is ending is 8 mm uh, radius of the arc being 12 then we trim that inside bit and you select these two lines uh, by holding the control key on your keyboard then uh, sorry uh, select the two these two lines like that then uh, add equal relation then uh, we can finish the sketch uh, revolve yeah then uh, it looks okay so far uh, we just need to add the fillets there 2.1 uh, mm and then click ok so the next bit now we'll need to do the ball we can now hide uh, the out ring there just just so that we can get uh, clear visibility where the ball needs to to be uh, from there now we need to select a uh, circle command uh, add a diameter of 24 uh, then uh, from the center of this circle to where the arc was was 8 plus uh, that diameter uh, not plus the radius and then plus 12 um, then that that comes to roughly 45 then uh, we need now to have a line passing through the center uh, ensure it is passing exactly to the center and it is vertical so you can just use a coincident uh, constraint to ensure that uh, it is indeed uh, passing through the center then after this you can now trim out the sorry uh, trim out the unwanted uh, parts of this profile then now you can go ahead and do also a revolver feature there uh, the, it is going to up to 360 degrees full circle there Mm, now we can start drawing the cage so here drawing the cage is where we might have some some bond of contention so we have the radius of that one of that cage to be 47 and 43 so the outer one is going to be 47 times 2 because that is the radius so we have 47 times 2 that is 94 being the diameter then the second one being there 43 in radius then 43 will be 43 by 2 that comes to 86 now we can go ahead and uh, extrude this so this one uh, we'll just draw it uh, arbitrarily to ensure that it is covering the the ball there or the bearing the bearing just to because this is going to be the cage and the cage has to go around the ball and uh, it seems this is small we need to increase it a little bit I used uh, 8 let me increase it to 16 please also ensure that you select a uh, symmetric direction there is symmetric so 16 looks okay because now it will be total length will be 32 select that face then probably you can locate the center of this uh, shape you've just drawn so pro the shape uh, the center will be at a diameter of 90 millimeters like that then uh, we can also have a line uh, 
a vertical line coming from the center to to the center of that circle there like that and select both of them and uh, press X on the keyboard to change them to construction line construction line means they are not part of this uh, sketch now draw a circle that resembles the ball there 24 in diameter so what we want to do here is to cut the shape of the ball out of this uh, uh, ring we have just drawn uh, so before you do cut operation ensure you hide uh, these other features we drew earlier because uh, it or else it will cut everything uh, the thing the one thing that uh, or the principle there means that uh, you can't cut what uh, you can't see so once you hide them then now you can do the cut operation like that uh, then now we can add uh, the fillets 2.1 yeah 2.1 select both the two corners there then add a fillet of 2.1 in radius mm. so the next thing here is now we need to do what is called a circular pattern to ensure that we spread this shape all the way to a complete uh, circle there or a complete revolution of 360 select uh, these two like that last features we did that is a revolve and a fillet and you have eight instances So next uh, we'll need to shell and the thickness is given there by to be 1.5 uh, mm. Uh, there is no any other, other specification given. So we'll go ahead and shell it to a thickness of 1.5 like that. Then we'll end up with this, uh, this shape. So the principle here means that we'll need to now mirror this so that we'll have two of them but before we do the mirroring we'll just need to add uh, some holes for the rivets or just we'll just design a rivet i uh, will also need to look at that center i did 360 divided by 8 then um, probably i need to do 360 divided by 16 just to so that I can have this get the center of that um, of that surface there. Mm, this looks okay. Twenty two point five. Yeah, twenty two point five. Then uh, I'll need to draw a circle at that center. Uh, you need also to project this uh, the the circle with the area the center circle by select the circle then press P on the keyboard that will project that uh, line out you can now see I can now locate uh, the center with a lot of ease the diameter of that circle is two millimeters that is a bit small though then uh, I will use a little trick here instead of making a hole we can just go straight away and make uh, the rivets together so uh, offset that circle there by 0 0.5 just to our second one then now we need to extrude but uh, also we need to offset the, the the starting point of that extrusion let's say the the, the other one uh, the other part of this uh, cage is 1.5 in thickness then we'll have a rivet head of uh, 0.5 so you offset uh, the starting point by 2 millimeters then uh, 
you extrude all through to the next surface there the second bit now is uh, you select that profile then uh, you have you have set now to object and the object is now the head of that uh, that rivet uh, we've just drawn so that we can have uh, a nice looking round head of a rivet so we can also have the head of that rivet uh, showing on the other side so what you need to do select extrude then uh, select the profile like that then uh, sorry ah uh, then on the starting point now you select again uh, the object uh, on this floating window they for the um, properties of extrusion starting point now you select object then you select that surface as, as the object then you extrude uh, by 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.5 millimeters like that but uh, there is this uh, some little hole being leave, being left behind there you can just select that hole then uh, you extrude so that it looks nicely the same uh, length 0 0.5 yeah this looks okay now so Probably now what we need to do is to mirror the this surface now. But uh, we need to do mirroring before doing all this rivet. Uh, but we can move this design tree just a little bit uh, up to the point where we started the sketch. Then we do the mirroring. So we forgot to do the mirroring at uh, the approach time, but we can as well push that back to do the mirror, select the body, then surface. Then we do the mirroring. And uh, in case uh, you just uh, for aesthetic purposes, you might want to offset that surface a little bit so that uh, it doesn't seem too tight. Uh, but for the sake of this uh, tutorial, uh, you know, you understand what I mean. Look, you can see it here it is, it seems too tight, but uh, you can just play around with that and see. So the next thing now we need to do a circular pattern of this uh, rivet. You select the last uh, features we need, those extrusions. Then you select the axis. So ensure you select the the right axis i did the wrong selection there uh, then uh, we select the right one like that and uh, then that looks okay so far mm -hmm. it looks uh, more sexier uh, now from now from here now we need to do assembly uh, just click on the main the main name or the file name there to show all these uh, designs we just did So we have the ring and the ring there and the ball first you need to select the The you need to do assembly of the ring plus the ball up to this point if you haven't subscribed then uh, we need to redefine uh, the term selfish As ensure that uh, the ball the joint type is selected as a uh, as the ball then uh, now we need to again do a circular pattern of the ball to capture position you need sorry you need to do a circular pattern of the ball to move nicely along these cages like that select the axis eight instances like that so once that is done uh, you need now to 
so how you do that selection is that uh, once you hover it around you select the joint then you hover it around uh, the point that you want if you see a small plus sign there you hold control key on the keyboard then uh, the right uh, the right uh, point or the right center will be you will just select the right center like that so the next thing we need to do is to ground this uh, in a in a ring like that capture position so once you ground it now you can rotate this one freely you can now bring the outer rim you do the same thing we just did select the inside bit of it no first select the joint then you can see now i can hold the control key to select the center then again now i can come here then i can can hover it around then when i see the point that i want i can hold the control key on the keyboard to select the right uh, right location so this one looks okay we can probably we can now go ahead and uh, add some appearances uh, the rotation looks okay you can as well edit this uh, rotation by right clicking on the joint itself or on the design tree down there so let's add some appearances just press a on the keyboard for this window floating window to appear we need to hide the outer ring so that we can have a clear visibility uh let's let's have the cage made out of copper then uh, we can select the bulbs then we can add uh, another appearance i think uh, we need something a little bit darker for for the bulbs there like dark paint you can just drag it all the way to their balls and uh, that looks okay to me uh we can now bring the cage back they are not the cage but uh, they are they are trying and this looks okay so far so in case you have any question please let me know in the comment section and uh please uh, like share and do subscribe to to this channel for more videos thanks for watching and uh, i'll catch you next on the on the next video on the next video we'll explain more how you can come out with the drawing uh 2d drawing of uh, any design and also you can do a motion study or uh, or animations motion study plus animations Thank you very much for watching. See you next. Bye.